Okay, my name is uh, the University Nashi Chinyanga. I'm a medical doctor by profession and I'm the medical doctor here, the site director of Ubete Health Center. So, yeah, I'm working for Partners in Health, which is uh, overseeing uh, service delivery at this health center. We are offering comprehensive primary health care, including HIV management and TB management at this clinic. So we, we see other minor ailments like sexually transmitted infection, respiratory tract infections, and we, we see everyone. We, there's no room for specialization in, <laughs> at a health center in Africa. So you see pediatrics, you see obstetrics and gynecology, you see general medicine, you see surgery. We are doing everything. Um, the, we, we see a total of about a hundred patients per day and the, most of our patients, they are HIV patients, you know. And we, we also get a, a lot of patients with minor ailments like upper respiratory tract infections, diarrheal diseases and, you know, those, those minor ailments. We also get uh, quite a number of patients with TB. As of now, we have about 30 patients on, on TB treatment. We try and identify people who might have TB, what we call TB suspects. We have a screener. Someone who screen, who, who triages our patients, you know, those ones who have been coughing for more than two weeks and, and such patients, you know, whether they are our patients on ARVs or they are just the walk-in patients, you know. We have their sputum taken, we send it to, to Maseru by plane because we are not having a, a microscopist to, to, to look at the sputum at the at clinic level. But we have the capacity to, to do a chest x-ray, we have a chest x-ray machine, so we, 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 they, they come in, they are seen by a clinician, then uh, the normal examination goes on and if there are uh, ex uh, investigations that are to be done, mainly sputum, which is sent to Maseru, the chest x-ray, which we can look at we, and have in a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes, we'll be having the x-ray, which is uh, available on site. So basically we, we make a diagnosis of TB uh, based on chest x-ray and on sputum results. So when sputums go to Maseru, we have to wait for them for about a week when the patient comes in. That is if the x-ray is not suggestive of TB. But otherwise, if the x-ray is suggestive of TB, we, we don't wait for TB, for, for the smear to come from a cell. We immediately put the patient on treatment. And we, um, each TB patient is linked to a community health worker who supervises treatment and make sure the patient is adherent, is not having side defects, and um, gets uh, health care when, when need, the need arises. We also give our patients a food package, you know, if they are, they, they get a food package for about 12 months, comprising cornmeal, um, cooking oil, uh, and then a portion of beans, you know, to, to just boost their uh, immune, yeah, nutritional status, you know. So basically that's what we do in our TB program. And our TB treatment is for six months. It, it follows the, the national guidelines, which are basically WHO guidelines. The, the main problem here of accessing healthcare, the, the area is, is really mountainous. And patients, some patients, they come from far. They, they walk long distances and, and it's not very, um, it's, it's not very probable that people access healthcare when they want to because sometimes they are too sick to walk and uh, they won't be near the clinic, you know. So that's the main challenge. The, the mode of transport here is on horseback, and, but not everyone has horses or donkeys to transport them to the clinic. So that's the major challenge that the people face here. But however, if uh, we have a 
we have uh, village health workers, community health workers in the in the villages. So if there is a really sick patient, we we go out to them. We we make a home visit and see them in the comfort of their home. You know, if they are too sick, we we try and bring them to the clinic and observe them and do some further investigations at the clinic, like X-ray, which we are not able to carry to the patient. You know, so we have a car on site, we a 4x4 vehicle, it will take us to somewhere near the patient and then uh, the villagers would have to carry the patient to the vehicle and we transport the patient back to the clinic. Yeah, so the, the, basic, the, the basic challenge is um, the, the health center is far away from people, you know. There are other health centers in the location but they are, they are not offering the same services that we are offering, you know, they, they are manned by one nurse who is who goes off maybe for a week. So when the when when she's not there or he's not there, the clinic is closed. So most of the patients they they will have to, to come here because whenever they come here they they are always clinicians at this site twenty four seven. Uh working for partners in health, um it has been a good experience so far, you know. Being a, a Harvard affiliated uh, program, there, there's a lot of support, you know, and a lot of mentoring that goes on in the program. You know, we, we, we have uh, internet on site, you know, and you, you can always have access to, you know, Harvard uh, specialists. They, they, they can always guide you in, in what you do. You know, and that's that's the major issue that has motivated me to to work here. You know, to have the experience. Uh, I, I I basically have an interest in in public health. You know, so this is this is public health. What we are doing is public health. You know, that's that's the thing. You know.